Hello there, it's Jay again from JS Films. And like I promised, we are in the laptop right now. We're gonna try and benchmark this laptop using different resolutions of video and the Vinci Resolve 15. Like I said, I think this laptop is the best laptop for the money. And I got it for about $1,400. If you haven't seen a previous video, go ahead and check it out first because it's not gonna make sense. But basically we're gonna have a bunch of videos in the Vinci Resolve 15 just to see how far we can push this laptop as far as playback goes. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. The first one is a GH5 anamorphic at uh, 3328 by 2496. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and de-squeeze that. So right click, CinemaScope, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to my resolution, my timeline one, 3840 by 1600, which should give us uh, 2.4. And let's go ahead and scale it. Should give us a 2.4 aspect ratio. I'm gonna control F so you can see the full screen. That's what you're looking at right now. It's just log. It was shot in V-log. So let's go ahead and go to color. Actually, let's edit, drag and drop it in a new timeline. Then go to color. Right now, there's nothing in it. It's just the V-log. Let's see if we'll play it. Press space bar. Twenty-four frames per second, solid, and this is 4K anamorphic. Wow, for this 15-inch laptop, that's how much power this thing has. All right, that's the easiest one. Let's let's keep pushing this thing. Go ahead and go to this music video, and you can see the resolution here is also 4K. So let's go ahead and edit, drag and drop. Drag and drop, make it bigger. Let's go ahead and use the full resolution, 4000 by 2160. This was shot with the Ursa Mini 4K, not the 4.6K, 4K. Here we go, press play. All right, struggle in there a little bit, but again, it was able to go to 24 frames per second. All right, let's go back to edit, remove that. Let's drag and drop this thing that I shot with a red, uh, red Scarlet in Frankfurt. I shot this with a Red Scarlet Frankfurt. And let's look at the resolution of this. This is DCI 4K, 4096 by 2160. So we're increasing in resolution here. All right, so it's 4096 by 2160. That should be it, double check, yep. And let's see if we can play this. Go to the color tab again, press play. Oh, there you go. It is not playing full 24 frames per second. So you can see, this is full DCI 4K. This is the Red Scarlet original. Full DCI right here. Let's see if we can bring this to red log here. Let's see if that makes any difference. See, it's crazy. It's kind of biased that, I mean, it's not biased, it's smart. That the Vinci Blackmagic cameras work really well with the Vinci Resolve, but other cameras are okay. So that's that. You can see that it's starting to act up at full DCI 4K red camera. Even though it was fine with the Blackmagic Ursa Mini, right? Well, that's just the way it is. Obviously, Blackmagic is gonna want their cameras to work smoother and the Vintry's off. So the last one we're gonna do is an 8K file from red sample footage website. We're gonna go ahead and go to our media so we can take a look at this. This is an 8K file, 8192 by 4320. So let's go ahead and change it, 8192 by 4320. Here we go, press edit, and go to color, press play. Yeah, that is definitely hurting now. I'm getting nine frames, five frames per second when playing this 8K footage. So as you can see, it reached its maximum capacity or power. So definitely can edit 
8K on this laptop. But 4K, you can smoothly do it, at least Ultra HD, you can definitely, ooh, look at this. The GPU failed to perform image processing because of an error. Yeah, that means it's like stressing that crap out of this thing. Uh, and I do have performance mode. Where is it? Playback, yep. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So from this, it looks like the laptop can play Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4K, but not DCI 4K from the red cameras. Scarlet, and then, uh, and I'm pretty sure this is from the weapon. All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.